Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video, and oh my god, we have to talk about that ending, and we have to talk about this episode. I'm so excited because this episode was amazing. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So, the reason why I'm so excited is... Throughout this episode, there were so many links, and they were just teasing, you know, Sherlock finding out about everything, and then we had the future Grace, they were, like, finding out about the timeline and time travel stuff, and, you know, it just ended with a massive bang. We need to talk about it. So, let's get right into this, so I don't really have to say anything negative about this episode, because I don't have anything negative to say, so let's go on and talk about the Sherlock stuff and then we'll go on to the ending and then we'll, you know, take on the other smaller parts of the episode because this is of great importance. So, first off, Sherlock figures out Nora's codes and at the start of the episode, Reverse Flash tells Nora to reveal all and throughout the episode, Nora wants to tell them but she can't sort of get the grip, she can't sort of make the leap to say it and We'll talk about how it's revealed in a second, but Sherlock figures out Nora's codes, he's decoded it, he reads it, it's sort of like a time journal, and essentially there is no names written down, and so that's quite smart on her part, right? But he figures it out, and so Iris at one point in the episode sees the timeline is malleable, so there's little hints that it's going to be revealed later, and so it finally happens, and so we, he finds out Thorn's secret, so he goes to... I forgot what they called it, it's like a place where they store all their stuff, but you see Thorne's wheelchair and it's got, you know, like a sort of futuristic USB for Gideon and he takes it, goes there, goes to Gideon's room and he uses it and he finds out Thorne's secret. So there's this video log from him in season one saying he's cracked the code for essentially manipulating the timeline and time travel. So I think this links into the idea of how he can be at all these different places at once so he can sort of just manipulate it slightly so that the time wraiths don't, you know, come after him and that's how he's able to survive in these different timelines. So he's cracked it by that point and so also, next episode is the Godspeed episode, so we have to go crazy about that because they released a trailer. I haven't seen it yet, but we'll break that down hopefully later tonight or maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure when I get the time to do it, but that, I believe, is going to link into time travel and everything that's happening because at the end of the episode, something happens to Nora that will tease next episode. So, now let's move on. So, Sherlock actually finds out that the handwriting on the board in the video 100% matches the other handwriting in Nora's journal, so he finds out Nora is working with Reverse Flash. And so, then at the end of the episode, when we get to the ending scene, which is just like a mind-blown sort of scene where I was just like shaking for Barry and shaking for Team Flash and shaking for Nora, because it was at this point, Sherlock actually reveals... Nora's working with Reverse Flash, and so he just leads it up by saying something along the lines of, so when she first came back in the timeline, she made the lightest footprint at first, just, you know, going back to these four specific times, just saying hi, making sure she doesn't change anything really big, and then suddenly something else happens, she stops the satellite, and she does something rather brash, and she reveals herself, and so everyone at first thought that was her idea, but as we've been theorising since the end of that season, we kind of thought that there was someone behind it. And obviously we knew by, I believe, episode 10 that Reverse Flash was working with Nora, but now they've finally found out because Sherlock explains it. And I think it makes it all the more worse for Nora that Sherlock found out rather than her actually saying it herself. So I think that's more of an impact, and so it wasn't her idea to do that, and it wasn't her idea to do these different things, and so he's been, and so she's been getting help in the future, and she, and Reverse Flash seeks to change the timeline for his own needs, and that's what Sherlock says. So we can infer that, yeah, they're probably trying to work together, but there is a greater reasoning for Reverse Flash trying to change the timeline because he cracks the code and he does it in a way to benefit himself, and you saw that in that video log, so it's not just all about Nora, and I'm sure that will be revealed soon, but holy shit, 
Barry, Iris and everyone's reaction, especially those two, Barry starts tearing up with the reveal of her working with his greatest enemy and so just in an instant when Nora's saying sorry she's unable to speak Barry literally just uses his powers he runs he grabs Nora and he locks her in the time vault oh my god when that happened I was like oh my god oh, it finally happened and I knew I knew when this reveal was coming something harsh was gonna happen Barry would snap and so I'm surprised he didn't just like, I don't know, kill her, obviously he wouldn't, but wow, he locks her in the time vault, and Nora says, I'm sorry I lied to you, and then Barry replies, so am I. So essentially what you can get from that final line in the episode is essentially, you know, Nora saying, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry for not telling you about it, and Barry says, so am I, so he's sorry that she didn't tell him about it straight away, and that in the first place she's working with reverse flash so he can't trust her and so like i said this teases episode 18 titled godspeed and danielle panabaker's directing the episode that is next week's episode we're seeing godspeed for the very first time i cannot be more excited but that teases the idea of what's happening we know from behind the scenes barry and nora go to 2049 so nora takes barry to probably meet thorn actually and so they are there together so after you know her being locked up they're going to go to the future and they're going to presumably confront confront fawn to actually see what i guess his greater plans are and why they've been working together why has he directed her to do all of this stuff obviously the main reason for